Well, have I got something interesting to show you guys today. So this is a beautiful Italianate Victorian mansion built by Lord Goblin Esquire over on our server. So let's take a little wander around here on our server and talk a bit more about this house. Okay, so you're finding me outside of the town of Linford upon Avon, which is built by Lord Goblin Esquire. Now, he actually has built this house as his own summer residence. So this is the house of the first Lord Admiral of Whiteburg, and it's a beautiful Italianate Victorian mansion called Faulkner House. Now, as we walk on up to it, you can see there is a beautiful cherry blossom. Now, this is something quite interesting you can do with trees. For me, I'm, I'm sort of on the fence about putting real blocks uh, as opposed to leaves inside trees i did do it previously for a build where i had some autumn colored trees which were made out of different stripped woods and some browns in there now this does work i think this works really nicely because you've got the glazed terracotta there as well which has a almost leaf-like look to it um, so a cherry blossom like this kind of does work but as you're way up into the house itself it's a really nice sort of feature point for when you're walking down here and going oh that's really nice so goblin great start here already i can see lots and lots of stuff going on that i like a lot now italianates are a style of buildings that are based upon teachings of italian sort of architecture but mixed into a more british uh, understanding of like georgian and neoclassical buildings now what makes this even different is it's built in the later victorian times so around about 1888 and you can tell straight away that it's that sort of period of time with the heavy use of brick here so we're coming up to what i think is the gatehouse uh, and main entrance into the house itself this is a cool little uh, lodge here so you find these all over the place for people just to sit in make sure no one's coming up and doing any funny business and it's like hey hey can i can i come in so can you please get your feet off the windowsill but can i can i come in uh i don't know so it's a bit scary inside there uh but yeah that's what these bars are here for to stop people from sort of clambering on in and stealing the house because i guess the keys are just kept in there so we won't go into in here just yet because i think that's the main gardens what i do want to do is take you guys around the side here so what's quite nice is he's got a nice border along the side here. You can see all these custom trees through there help protect the house from the outside view. A very good way of doing that. So first of all, one of these details I've noticed that I haven't ever really ever seen before is the use of warped wood as a door. Look at that, that's really cool. It's like stripped warped wood. Uh, and then above that, you've got some looms and some iron trap doors there as well. And in our texture pack, the WBC builds texture pack, you can download from our Discord if you're interested. It has been updated to 1.17 currently. And that does turn things such as iron trap doors into a bit more of a quartz look to it, uh, which is really great for this style of building. So let's carry on around this side and I can already see some other little details that I'm in love with. We've got the flags of white birds hanging up here as well, because clearly, this is a house owned by a actual member of the Admiralty so he needs to be flying the flags here what's really nice as well we've got this pediment with the little bits of details inside there and looking up onto the roof as well he's gone for using uh, actual stone slabs instead of stone brick slabs which give it a really nice effect of it being like a lead roof rather than a tiled roof so I like that and you've got the nice finishing up the edges there with a bit of diorite on there again a bit of lead which makes it look really nice so let's move on around to what I believe is the front door of this place you've got a nice little carport over there and some nice little cars as well. Now I think both of these are built by Ozzy, who is also a builder on our server, and he does loads of cars for a uh, company based out of Gansberg, which is the German counterpart of this world. So we come around to this main entrance here, and I like this little carport section. I think this is really cool. You know, this is a place where you take your main guests in. They come under here, it rain or shine, you can just wander on in and go through the main front door. There is grass inside this house. Let's not look inside the house anymore. Uh, let's take a wander around here to the side. This will be the garden front. And I'm already in love with what I can see here. Now, wouldn't you like a house like this? Just, just wouldn't you? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? So we've got this very nice large garden front on it. Let me try and change the shaders to see if we can see it a bit better. You can see it's north facing, so it doesn't really get the light on here. But still, what an impressive facade you've got. So if you're wandering around this lovely garden over by the river, you just look up and gaze over here. You can see we've got this nice big front on that one. Oh, pediment's beautiful again. But then I spy with my little eye something that I'm really, really enamoured by. You guys, if you watch the channel a lot, you know I love my greenhouses. And this is a beautiful greenhouse. It's massive. A uh, great use of sandstone walls here and just glass to give it this really nice, impressive look. I like what you've done here with this weather vane as well. That's cool. That's a really cool little detail. I think we've shown it off in a server update before. And we've got this nice little table down here with the parasol on it. 
and some wicker benches and chairs going on there. So, so far around the garden front, it's looking lovely, isn't it? And we've got all the flowers, nice little border around here. So there is another section of the garden if we carry on round the back this way. Ah, there we go. So let me actually, let me jump in this way so we can kind of wander down from where we broke into the house earlier on. Imagine we've just broken in and we're wandering through the side gardens here. You can see we've got some blocked up windows and some other random little bits and bobs. Now houses like these will always have brick behind the main facade as it's a lot cheaper to do. So what I can see over here is the entrance to the stables. So yeah, look at this, really cool little details in here again. A great looking stable block with some really cool looking doors. I like buildings like these. Outbuildings are what make country houses great. Everyone always asks me for tips and tricks on how to build country houses. And the best way I can say is just make sure you have outbuildings for days because it always just adds to the detail. So I wonder if we can go and take a look inside. Ah, there's nothing nothing in here just yet, but we have got a nice little buggy here waiting to uh, take maybe the owners out on a little horse ride around the grounds. So if we come around here, we're going to come into one of the greenhouses. Uh, this is mainly part of the walled gardens, and I love the greenhouse design. Very reminiscent of ones I've used in the past. Cool little bushes in there, which are looking great. Uh, what we've got going on here? Ah, small little fruit bushes in the go here. And once we get to 1.17, we can put azalea bushes in there and give it an even better look. What we've got around the back here? Very large, nice big greenhouse gets all the sun. Look at that, all the sun getting into there. And then we have a manure shed as well, which is just ah, perfect. With the little wheelbarrow. Ah, guys, take a note of that one. That's a great little design there. So let's wander on side this one. Yeah, this is cool. Nice wall full of some vines. And we've got some little sort of potting tables and the works going on there. And another wheelbarrow. Right, I see behind me as well, there's one other section of the walled garden. Now, when Goblin was building this, he said to me, oh, what should I do with this? Should I separate it in two? Because it's a bit of an odd shape. And I was like, yeah, go for it. Look at that. You've got two different variations of gardens here. So let's go on down into this beautiful little place here with the vegetable patches in. We've got some melons on the grow. We've got some pumpkins and all sorts of other little bits and bobs. I like the uniformity of these ones here and then the small little fruit bushes over there. And what's cool, a little detail again, is just having the walls like this. So you've got some actual brick walls inside the brick blocks to give a bit more depth to that wall, as you see for a lot of these houses anyway. Ah, beautiful stuff. So Goblin, thank you for building Faulkner House. I can't wait for it just to be surrounded with even more countryside and looking even more impressive. So there we have it, guys. That has been an interesting build built by Lord Goblin Esquire, this beautiful Italianate styled Victorian mansion. I will see you next time with more buildings from the WBC Builds creative server. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to get inspired, get building, leave a like, leave a subscribe. You know the works. And I'll see you next time.